I re-simulated Bad Blood 2024 to see how things could change if they were done differently. So let's dive into our first match. The first match of the night is CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre inside the Hell in a Cell structure. Can Drew McIntyre rectify his loss or will that stay the same? CM Punk throwing him against the rope over the top. And now CM Punk's going to the outside and he's coming back in. Drew misses a uh, chop. Punk, big springboard clothesline. You know, for CM Punk, you know, he's up there in age, but he's still looking pretty good. I mean, I guess the best you can at, like, 41 when you're, like, you know, after years of... An empty-headed fucking dumb fuck like Hangman Adam Page to go out on national television. That's a story for another day. Big punch, pulling at his arm. He's pulling at his arm. Oh, oh what was that? What was that? He tried to do a little moonwalk. Big power slam. Power slam him down. Oh, now both men are on the outside fighting. Yeah, it's the AI. Oh, he went for the Glasgow's kiss headbutt. Nope. Over the top to the floor. Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre's waiting around. Come on, Drew. Okay, there you go. Finally, do something. Glasgow's kiss. And now Drew McIntyre. Is he good? He's gonna try to end it already? Claymore kick! The Claymore kick! The cover! One! Two! No. Kicked out. You know, I, I thought this would be- I thought there would be more destruction. It's a hell in a cell, and we're just having like a normal 1v1. It's kind of like, we need some weapons. We need tables. We need sledgehammers. Chairs. Fire. Something. He a with a big springboard clothesline to take down Drew McIntyre again. Throws Drew into the- Oh, there's the knee! And a clothesline takes down Drew McIntyre. See ya, punk. What's this? Oh, we're probably getting some weapons. It's Drew McIntyre got a chair. A steel chair. And... Wait, is he gonna back for... Uh-oh. Oh, I think he went for a power bomb or something? But Drew, is he gonna grab the chair? No, he's just gonna stomp his feet in his face. Wait, go to sleep! Go to sleep! But Drew gets out of it! Big Claymore! Claymore kick! Cover! One! Two! And it's over! Wow! Drew McIntyre defeats CM Punk in a not so hell in a cell. Like, that was lame as f man. Are you kidding me? After like 10 months of build, that's how it finishes? That really f it sucks. Good job, guys. You put on a, the most tame hell in a cell I've ever seen. The next match of the show is a match that no one gives a flying fuck about. It's Nia Jax defeating the Women's Championship against Bayley. Can Bayley win the championship without Tiffany Stratton's interference, or will Nia retain once again? Nia Jax slams Bayley into the mat, onto that prime bottle that probably tastes like dog water. Grabbing Nia Jax, going for something, and it's countered by Nia. And Nia Jax just shoves her- Oh my god, the f- Well, Bayley tried to go for something, and then- Don't worry. Oh, crossbody! Oh my god, she got caught! Caught! Samoa drop! Samoa drop by Nia Jax! Taking Bailey down. And of course she no sells it because that's how this fucking game works. Nia Jax! Oh she went for big body splash, but he kind of Bailey to Bailey! Bailey to Bailey! Cover! One! Two! No. Kick out by the champion. Nia Jax is up! Rose plant counter! Alabama slam! Uh, is it a power bomb? Power bomb? Oh, it is a power bomb. It's stacked, but the ropes. Nia Jax missed the rope break. Against the ropes. Under. Over. Samoan drop by Nia Jax. Plants her to the mat. Alabama slam again. Boom! Alabama slam by Nia Jax. Wait a minute. What in the hell is this? Dakota Kai of damage control! Wait a minute. She's not supposed to be here. Oh wait! Maybe she's not! Is she she's not here? Boy, distraction! Distraction! By Dakota Kai! Damage control! 
Arm drag takedown. Rose plant. No. The rose plant. Come on, not this way. Her foot's in the rope. I think. I guess not. Two. No. Off the rope. Big takedown again by Nia Jax. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're going to pin off that. Come on. Kick out. Kick out. Oh, my God. You've got to be shitting me. Wait a minute. Nia Jax to the top. Oh, my God. She went for a splash, but Bailey like got crushed, but then countered it. But wait, Bailey, she's recovering to the top. Big splash, cover, leg, one, two, three. She won! Holy shit, she won! By an act of God, Bailey has defeated Nia Jax and has become the new women's champion. Our next contest of the evening is another match that I don't think most people really care that much about. It's Damian Priest, former World Heavyweight Champion, versus his former best friend Finn Balor in a grudge match. Who will pick up the W in this blood feud? Okay, you know what? Saying blood feud for this is probably an overestimation of it. Alright, Damian Priest, big clothesline to the back. Damian Priest picking him up. And a kick! Right to the head, Damian Priest. Oh my god, is he gonna try to finish him off already? Big splash by Damian Priest to Finn Balor to come back. Finn Balor with a kick to the knee. Balor, double stomp to Damian Priest. Oh, there's an uppercut. Damian Priest, oh, he's got him in a power slam. Power slam! Ugh. There you go. Go for a cover again. No. Damien Priest is already looking for the end. Is he going for Razor's Edge? Yep. Here it comes. Razor's Edge. Got him up. He's got Balor up in the position. And he throws him down. But wait a minute. What, in Tarnation? Is that JD McDonough? What the hell? Where is he? JD McDonough. Where is, where is he? I don't know where he is. Ref, why don't you go check? There he is! He's behind you! Look out! <laughs> he just grabbed him! Da Damien Priest, he can't get to the turbo because the ref's in the way! But JD McDonough's just leaving! What are you doing? Why are you leaving? You just came in, and then you leave? <laughs> Dude, that was the biggest waste of an appearance ever! Wait a minute! Bloody Sunday! Or, or, what, is, what is it called? 1916? Yeah, 1916. From Finn Balor, is that it? One, two... Oh, no, 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 it was a kick out. Kick out by Damian Priest. But wait, a roll-up counter by Priest! He's got the cover! One, two... No, oh, kick out again. Priest. Super kick! by Priest. A super kick by Damian Priest and he's going for Razor's Edge again. But Fowler, he countered it. Countered Razor's Edge. Wait a minute, Bloody Sunday again. Bloody Sunday. The Bloody Sunday, the cover. He's got the leg hooked. One, two, and it's over. Finn Balor picks up the win despite a completely ineffective appearance from JD McDonough. Finn Balor still wins the night. Finn Balor picks up a big win against his arch rival. The next contest is for the Women's World Championship, and hopefully it doesn't end the same shitty way it did at the pay-per-view. Liv Morgan defends against Rhea Ripley with Dominic in a shark cage. How did we put Dominic in a shark cage? Well, I'll let my uh, past self take it away, so go for it. Now, how do we have Dirty Dom in a shark cage? Well... There he is! Say hi, Dominic! Hey guys, I'm stuck in a shark cage, can you please help me? Well, you're gonna stay in that corner, okay? And a big clothesline takes down Rhea Ripley right off the gate by Liv. Liv? Yeah, slam! Slams her down. Liv Morgan shakes her off. Oh, missed the putt, missed the chop. Rhea? Got her in a power slam position, but Liv Morgan counters into her first DDT, taking her down. Mommy's in control, but Liv Morgan trying to fight back. Dominic is cheering her on, 
try to make sure that she gets the win. She's try he's trying his best. <laughs> Why is this kid so big? <laughs> I'm sorry, back to your corner. Alright. And he slam she slams her right across the ring. And Rhea is out to the outside. Liv Morgan just jumping around like a fool, and she's gonna get punished for it. Liv throws her off the ropes. What's she going for? Oh wait, is that a Oh Oh, the disrespect by Liv Morgan. Stomp it over her like she owns her. And dramatic! And a stomp to the gut. And a kick to the head. And another stomp. And another kick. But that's blocked? Something happened. I don't know what Dom. Wait! Off the rope! Tilt the world! Takes her down! Oh, there's a big clothesline! Here comes a second one by Liv. Catches the leg. Leg sweeps her up. Liv Morgan's on fire right now. Dominic's... Dominic's... He's going crazy. Oh, look at this. Wait a minute. Electric chair. Electric chair drop by Rhea Ripley. Taking her down. Oh. The elbow by Liv. Oh. Looks like Rhea went for something. But she, oh, wait. Riptide. This is it. The Riptide. Riptide. Cover. Cover. Will this be it? One. Two. No, oh, Liv kicks out the Riptide. Look at Rhea hoisting her up and just throwing her across the ring. And she's going to do it again. Just pick her up and throw her across the ring. And now Rhea. Oh, big kick. Super kick to the gut. And Rhea. Out of the boot to the head of Liv. She's just going to up the rope break. She's going to go for Prism Trap? Yep, there it is. Prism Trap. Locked in. The prism trap is locked in. Will this be it? Will she tap? She tapped! Oh my god, we got a new champion! Dominic! Dominic Mysterio! No! He's being elevated out of here! Dominic Mysterio is being lifted out of the ring, out of the arena, as we got a new women's champion! But it's time for the main event. It is the new Bloodline versus Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns with no Bloodline interference at all involved. Even though that's what happens in every single match that this group is involved in. Can Bloodline 2.0 pick up a win for once or will they lose once again to the Super Team? And Roman's got the cravat on, so on Solo already as Jacob Fatu kicks him off. This might be kind of hard to call so bear with me on this one. Cody? Disaster kick by Cody Rhodes as Roman is going after Solo. And now Jacob Fatu is going for some weapons as it's extreme. Oh boy, he's got the big sledgehammer. Look out! Cody Rhodes hit the gut with a sledgehammer. And he got hit in the balls with the two! That's dirty, man. That's. Oh, he got hit in the ass! Dude, Jacob Fatu has no chill. He just does not care who he hits or, wh or what he hits. Solo Sokoa has got a table. Uh, what are the odds of the AI putting them through the table? I give it like a 50-50, man. Oh, headbutt by Jacob Fatu. Picking him up. Another headbutt. And a third headbutt as Solo is Roman Reigns trying to figure out where to put Solo. But aren't Samoans, like, don't Samoans have, like, really hard heads? Or is that just, like, a wrestling myth? I think that's just a, I think it's just a made-up wrestling myth that Samoans have hard heads. Cody Cutter! But oh, wait! On the cover! He's at the cover on Solo! Jacob Fatu's got to hurry! Two! Th oh! That was close. Jacob Fatu almost blew it. And an elbow by Roman Reigns. Another elbow. And a falling netbreaker onto the sledgehammer and table. The hell's Cody going for? Boonsaw by Cody Rhodes! I think Jacob Fatu just laid out Roman. Cody's got the sledgehammer now. Fisherman suplex and a sledgehammer shot. Cody's going for a cover. One. Two. Wait. Roman just got thrown to the ring. I guess Jacob Fatu thought, hey, I'm going to throw Roman in the ring. That'll break up the count. I mean, that that sounds like pretty sound logic. But the problem is that, that the video game doesn't work like that, brother. Cody Rhodes. Crossroads countered. Solo countered the crossroads. But wait. Cody with the figure four. Figure four. Leg lock by Cody Rhodes. Jacob Fatu is out of the ring. Well, Solo tapped to the figure four. And what the fuck? Roman Reigns just chucked the sledgehammer into Solo Sokoa. That didn't do no Oh, wait. Big Rana by Jacob Fatu. Jacob Fatu's biting his fingers? Isn't that illegal? Wait, wait. It's extreme rules. There is no rules. Oh, wait. Solo Sokoa. 
the the Simone spike was blocked. Crossroads. Crossroads on the table. Jacob Fatu is down. The cover. Two. No, oh, he kicked out. Cody Rhodes. Roman Reigns is taking care of business on the outside. Could Cody Rhodes finish the job? He's got Solo. Crossroads again. Cover. Leg hooked. Ro Jacob Fatu is probably down. Two. And that's it. They did it. The new Bloodline loses to the all-star team of Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns. Who would have thought these two arch rivals would go on and defeat the new Bloodline? I mean, what does that do for the new Bloodline? Well, nothing. They just lose to the bigger stars. Kind of sucks, Solo, but... I mean, let's be real. Like, these are the real stars. This is like the equivalent of, like, uh, Awesome Truth versus Rock and Cena. And regardless, that is bad blood. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.